Welcome to the BBC Music, introducing a Cambridgeshire stage here at the Cambridge Big Weekend. I'm Ellen Ellard, you can usually find me on a Saturday night between 8 and 10 on BBC Radio Cambridgeshire. It is my absolute pleasure to bring you four incredible acts throughout this afternoon that we champion here on the show. And we're going to start off with the stunning vocals of Kyan. Kyan, how are you doing? I'm very well. I'm comfortable in my swivelly chair, so I can't complain. I'm loving the setup. You've got so much going on back there. Your fairy light game is a lot better than mine. Which yeah, I've got, I've got them sellotaped to the wall, so they, they do fall down like yours a lot as well, but I have to keep kind of sticking them up again, 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 again. But for now, they're holding, so we're good. Tell us a bit about your lockdown situation. What's the past three months been like for you? Wow, yeah. I, th I think, like, the first two weeks, I was... You know, I usually spend a lot of time traveling and, you know, sh shooting videos and just, you know, I'm a dive master, so I like just going away and being able to, like, do that and be in, like, you know, the beauty of nature. That's kind of what inspires me. Um, yeah, so the first two weeks, I was just, I was like, what am I, you know, how do I cope with this? What am I going to do? My whole livelihood is about, is about travel. You know, so, so I, I, I really struggled um, initially. Um, and then, but I think, you know, part of being, Creative is about trying to adapt to your situation and trying to, for me, it was the whole thing of, you know, stopping worrying about myself and starting to think, okay, how can I be kind of of service to other people? Because I was looking at um, everyone out there on Instagram and I was like, people are like bored, they're scared, no one knows what they're going to do. So I was like, how can I use like my platform to kind of uplift people? So I started like doing like, you know, like silly dancing videos and trying to like post it's like positive content, um, and I think that's where it really turned around for me. And, and it's been, yeah, it's, it's just been great, just kind of getting to know people in a different way on Instagram or on social media. So it's turned into something like really, really special. And tell us a bit about the live streams you've been doing. I, I say, I want to say went to, but like I was yeah. <laughs> one of your most recent ones, and um, and it was such an incredible family vibe. I was sat there and I was watching, obviously, you perform. And then the chat was just full of loads of people just sort of having conversations. And I think I found that, like, to start with a bit weird because at a normal gig, you mm. sat there having a chat with everyone, everyone would you? But just that vibe of that sort of family feel and everyone just enjoying music, that must be so incredible to put something like that together for people. Yeah, 100%. I mean, you know, the first live stream I did right at, that, right at the beginning was a bit bizarre because, you know, there's that whole weird thing where you finish a song and it's completely silent. You know, and psychologically, even though you know that people can't actually clap you, you, for you to hear them, it, it was a weird sort of environment. But you know, the more I did, the more the more I kind of realised how much it was opening up. You know what I was doing to people who couldn't normally come to gigs, so it wasn't really a means to an end anymore. It was like people from all around the world who can't usually see me perform live were there, and yeah, and I just started to relax a lot more. And and like, like you say, it started to feel like more of a more of a community, and people were messaging saying like you know I'm having a really difficult time but it's really nice to kind of switch off and just do something different so like again it's it, you, you start off doing these things because you're like oh I, I play I play gigs because I'm an artist but then they become something a lot bigger than that and yeah I've, I've absolutely loved playing them and we can see your setup a bit in the back there in the background yeah you've been creating tracks have you been I know you're so you're so creative you're probably non-stop but have you been writing any new music can we expect anything from you you know in the next couple of months next next six months or so yeah yeah I've, I've, I've been working kind of flat out um both for other artists but also for, for like for myself and, and um I just got a, like a grant from help musicians to kind of finish this this latest project so I'm not sure when yet but soon for sure and I'm like this what I've been working on is is the stuff I'm most excited about which which is always what you want but it's never you know it's not always the case so yeah I, I can't wait to release some more stuff and we're so excited to hear new stuff from you thank you so much for putting this set together please welcome to the stage Kyan They 
used to call me Lonely River As they would travel to the sea mm-hmm. And so they call me Lonely River Cause I got a river in me They used to call me Lonely River High Cause I was drifting on a dream Mm -hmm. And so they call me Lonely River Cause I got a river in me Skipping all life, save the ton on the rent Checking into the nightmare A key card for my descent I stayed down on the bottom floor Stuck in four walls that I wouldn't recommend Now I'm loud And I've never felt the high down I've been to the edge and back around all And I never thought I'd make it out Woo na, 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 na. Now I'm awake Everything feels like summer Did you know? 
know I was gone Can you remember when I've been asleep for the last year I was so tired, maybe it was heaven sin Was there a dream inside the nightmare? Yeah, maybe I'll do it all again Cause if I hadn't seen a nightmare Looping down there It could still be cold up here Now I'm awake Everything feels like summer like summer now I'm awake everything feels like summer and I've never felt that down I've been to the edge and back around I never thought I'd make it out Oh, everything feels like summer Hello, my name is Kyan. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. We're here in my home studio in Cambridge. I'm playing for you some of my songs. The next song is called How Dare You. Well, it's called How Dare You Make Me Love You, but that's a really long title. And it's about my ex-girlfriend. And we will leave it at that. Hope you like it. Settled and the flames were gone. I found myself here standing alone. I thought we'd stay together. Like we've always done, yeah When did you stop believing? Or did you know from the start that I wasn't born?
I've tried, but I don't understand. I gave you the best that I can. No, 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 no. Thank you. Whew. It's getting hot in here. I've got I've got the um, windows shut so I don't annoy the neighbours. <laughs> when I said stunning vocals, I absolutely meant it. How good was that from Kyan? Huge thanks to him for putting that together. And I totally get him on the realities of, of lockdown and having to keep the windows closed and not wanting to annoy your neighbours. Talking of lockdown, through lockdown, we've been doing a huge amount of this kind of thing, interviews over Zoom and sessions from people's houses. If you want to catch our BBC Intro Cams Essential series, you can do over on our YouTube now. You're watching BBC Music introducing at the Cambridge Big Weekend. We've got three more acts for you today, and the next act is the absolutely incredible Sophie Winter. How have you been doing, Sophie? Hi, I've been good, thank you. Been surviving. <laughs> Tell us um, about the hair. I know you did it for a really good yeah. purpose. So I um, shaved it all off. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and it's for the charity Home Start, the Cambridgeshire, Bedfordshire and Worcester one. Um, it's a charity my mum volunteers for and uh, shaving my head has always been on my bucket list. And as soon as lockdown happened, I was like, well, now's the time. Now or never. And I went for it. I really like it. Is there anything else that you've been doing through lockdown that you've either you've taken a bit more attention to, given a bit more time to, or something that you've just tried for the first time? Uh, no, I've just been trying to, um, nothing new. I've mainly just been focusing on producing more music and trying to make the most of only being able to do music at the minute, because normally you've got everything else going on. But right now, that's all I can do, which is, well, it was, it's been really good, but, you know, you kind of end up losing some of your creative processes um because you're just stuck inside all the time and how do you keep that momentum going um maybe just find different sources of inspiration so you know going for walks or just finding new music uh i've been talking to my friends a lot since being in lockdown like over the phone and going social distance walks um but yeah no just i think keeping in touch is good and we had your latest release. We played it on the show just before lockdown. I think it must have been pretty much the last show around you know, yeah, the end of March. I, I think I actually released my song like the week of lockdown. Goodness. Because <laughs> everything just shut down. And um, unfortunately, because a lot of radio stations were kind of, they're in between. So they hadn't set up at home yet and they uh, their studios had closed. So sadly, I missed out on quite a lot of um, radio play, which was a real shame. <laughs> Well, we absolutely loved it. What else can we expect from you music-wise for the rest of the year? So I'm hoping to release some singles this year. Um, I've been working on a new one and cooking it up. Uh, I don't know when that will be released yet. I'm trying to like perfect the vocals and get like um, you know promotion strategies and things sorted at the minute because that always takes ages. So hopefully, I'm aiming for end of September for my new single release. But we shall see, because music is <laughs> very variable. So, Well, huge thanks for putting your set together for us for the big weekend. Please welcome to the stage, Sophie Winter. Thank you. Oh, 
on my face <laughs> this next one is fist fight it was inspired by the film fight club so um <laughs> happy theme
This next song is called That's the Spirit. Um, it's out now on streaming platforms. All of these bad boys are. Um, I've been Sophie Winter. Thank you for having me. Um, hope you enjoy. It is very hot. <laughs> mm. oh, why in the universe up and watch it go? They say I'm asking for trouble And drag me under glory At my feet till I can't breathe And take me to the swimming pools And drown me like the other LA fools Bleeding for diamonds You're telling me it's gold when it's not And everyone that is meant to be my friend, oh I hate them And every morning that I wake up I feel like a heathen Oh, I can't believe that I'm just this unlucky So please give me your validation and Don't say a word, take it to the grave Pretend you misheard and smile through the face Take your fear and turn it inside out Just to ignore the cloud Oh well, that's the spirit And everyone that is meant to be my friend Oh, I hate them And every morning that I wake up I feel like a heathen Oh, I can't believe that I'm just this unlucky So please give me your validation Validate me, but don't dictate me Validate me, oh tell me, oh tell me I'm worthy Validate me, but don't dictate me Validate me, oh tell me, oh tell me I'm worthy Okay. And everyone that is meant to be my friend, oh, I hate them. And every morning that I wake up, I feel like a healer. Oh, I can't believe that I'm just this unlucky. So please give me your validation. And everyone that is meant to be my friend, oh, I hate them. And every morning that I wake up, I feel like a healer. Oh, I can't believe that I'm just this unlucky So please give me your validation Thank you very much. You have been a wonderful audience. <laughs> um, have a good summer. The wonderful Sophie Winter, how incredible was that? You're watching Cambridge Big Weekend. I'm Ellen Ellard from BBC Music, introducing in Cambridgeshire. And the next act we have got on, I am so excited to introduce. We've got Tom Lumley and the rest of the boys from Tom Lumley and the Brave Liaison. How are you doing, guys? Hey, hey. We're, we're good. good. Very good. So I'm going to start off with some quick fire questions. We'll start with you, Tom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what have you missed most about having the boys around for band practices and performing? 
uh, probably completely taking the mick out of each other all the time. <laughs> good answer, good answer. And Jake, what haven't you missed about having the boys around? <laughs> well, the difference now, after lockdown and three months of not seeing them, is that I actually do miss them. Before all this, we were seeing each other so regularly that I didn't have a chance to miss them. I basically hated them all, but now I miss them all so much. And Johnny, uh, what's the most annoying thing about the others when you're touring? Uh, well, what, what isn't annoying, really? I mean, the person <laughs> in the bottom who's just spoken is definitely the most annoying. But I think we've overcome that a little bit since we've all been apart for a little while. And Billy, what's the thing you're most excited to getting back to doing once lockdown starts to ease a little more? Oh, just gigging. I, I miss gigging so much. It, it, it's what... Uh, we love the most, I think. It's where we have the most fun and where we do our thing the best. I just miss it. So, Tom, you released your EP through lockdown. Tell us a bit about what that process was like. I mean, you can do the usual things like gig and go out and promote it. So what was it like releasing through lockdown? Um, it was really weird because, like you say, like we had a tour planned and we couldn't do be out there promoting it that way by being at the gigs and playing it to people. But I think... As you know, there's been such a build-up with the EP. Um, some of the tracks on it we released at the end of last year with Casual. Um, we've been lucky, obviously, with yourself, with BBC Introducing Cambridge here, and Hugh Stevens already on. We've had so much support for the EP that it still felt like the right thing to do and there was enough momentum behind it. So the release still felt really good. Um, just a shame that we couldn't be gigging around it at the same time. Jake, what was it like hearing your music played on Radio 1? Insane. Like... Me and, me and Tom, when we write, we were trying to write specifically to get on radio, with Radio 1 being like the dream of what we were really aiming for. And we didn't know if it was going to happen or not. So, uh, and we didn't know it was going to happen when we saw that picture of um, Wants to Watch in 2020, and Tom spotted us in the uh, little montage of it, and we were like, what are we doing on there? And we, I think we only found out we were getting played on the show like an hour before. We're like, this is crazy. I remember that. I remember getting a message. I think it was from Tom being like, panicking. Played? What's happening? <laughs> and I had to go through and like properly like check with the producers and make sure. It was, it was so good to hear your first play. And since that, you know, the success and the constant support that must be so encouraging, Johnny. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, we've all really been ecstatic about the whole lot, really. Um, none of us thought that three years ago we all just kind of met each other on the Dream City video uh, for the first time on the first day and none of us thought that we'd get to this point now um, and be as good mates as we all are at this point really. Um, yeah, it's been brilliant. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Please welcome to the stage the incredible Tom Lumley and the Brave Liaison. <laughs>
We're Tom Lummy and the Brave Liaison. This isn't how we were expecting to play the big weekend, but it'll do. This next one's a track from our debut EP. It goes by the name of New York Paranoia. going to be the last one from us then. And uh, we're going to finish with a single from the EP. Uh, massive thank you to BBC Introducing Cambridge here and Ellen Ellard for all the promotion and help they've given us with the track. If you like it and you like what you've heard, check us out on social media. We've been Tom Lummy and the Brave Liaison. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your summer. I need to get some rest It's all in my head I need to get some sleep And just learn to breathe well, That's what she said I need to take some time And take the weight off my mind Because I'm losing touch This is all too much But this is my life in the night I'm just trying to help in my mind I'm just trying to fix what she finds But I don't
Tom Lumley and the Brave Liaison, you can see why we love those guys so much in that set. How incredible was that? You're watching the Cambridge Big Weekend. I'm Ellen from BBC Music, introducing in Cambridgeshire. And our last act tonight have got an incredible set for you. It is the wonderful Flintmore. Do you want to say hi, guys? You're sort of scattered all over the place. Do you want to all give us a wave? Hello. 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 So, guys, how have you been coping through lockdown? Maddie, what's been the toughest thing about being away from the rest of the band? That my heart is broken. No, <laughs> I just miss my friends so much. And to be a back around them a little bit has been the most joyous thing to feel again. So, yeah, it's, it's been hard. It's been very tough. But um, it's nice now that we're able to be back at a distance with each other and we are able to pick up our instruments again, which is what we live for. So, yeah. Noah, what's it been like not being able to get your instrument through lockdown? Uh, it's been pretty tiring, to be honest, because um, there's only so much engagement when you're doing your rudiments and your basic practices on the little rubber practice pad. So, and I'm very, very much excited to get back into actually doing something a bit more musical, if drums can even be musical. What does it feel like having to, you know, watch on on the others as, as they're, you know, playing their instruments and they're, you know, enjoying it? What, what does it feel like to be on the sidelines? Uh, pure, pure resentment. <laughs> hatred. The epitome of hatred. I've become withered and upset. <laughs> He's playing basses. Keep playing yeah. bass, yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing bass for the last three quarters. Keep basses now. <laughs> Lawrence, is there anything that you you haven't missed about you know being in that you know close family situation, like you see with the band? You guys are just like a family, but as all families, you know, there's the occasional you know tiffs and that. Is there anything that you haven't missed from having a bit of time apart? Um, I'd say probably the first month or so, I quite enjoyed it. It was good to have a break from everyone, like in the you know in a good way. Um, but yeah, as I say, like, as, as time goes on, goes on, you just you start to really miss everyone and miss that routine of, of practice every week, where it's just something that you just you come together and it's just like a, a weekly ritual, you know. Um, so that's probably the thing that I miss. But um, what I don't miss is I don't know. There's not really. I don't have a good answer. Francis's sense of humour most of the time. No, I'd say Francis like strange random attacks where he just like comes out of nowhere and like puts his shirt over Lawrence or something, you know. Or gets yeah. smacked with very strange objects. Yeah. <laughs> it's bored by someone. <laughs> So you put your latest single out during lockdown. Um, I saw some of the videos you guys did to promo it. They were so fun. Have you seen that as a bit of an opportunity to do something a bit different? You know, see it as, a, as an opportunity rather than a setback, Maddie? Um, definitely. Like, I think social media, we have always been... We've always tried really hard, but it's never been our strongest point getting across to our fans online so it's definitely pushed us in the direction of you know this is the only means of contacting the fans and the people that you love right now what is the best way to do it and how to keep up regularly to keep people involved to keep them more present um so yeah the live streams have been a really good means of that and yeah and releasing a single you know it was quite daunting to do that at this time but it's also worked out quite well. Like, we've been able to push it quite far online. Um, so, yeah. Good. Uh, Noah, you have a gig lined up in September. How hopeful are you that that will still go ahead as planned? Uh, I think we're basically in the midst of cancelling it at the moment, or at least pushing it forward. Um, you know, we can only do so much. Uh, we've got to wait on actual either government or legislative change in order to get back on track with that kind of stuff. And my personal opinion, I'm a layman, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a, an advisory board, but it's, I feel it's way too soon, really. Especially as it starts getting colder around that time of year. And Maddie, when do you hope to be able to get back into the studio and get recording again? 
Um, studio? Not too sure, but we had actually, prior to lockdown, recorded another single that we haven't let anyone know about yet. Um, so that will be in the mist, like in the workings of releasing. And we would also like to be making, we plan to already release the music video for our single Broken Pictures by now, but we that's kind of got put on hold. Yeah. So we're going to be working that out now because I think now that things are easing up a bit, we're now able to record the music video hopefully release this new single and we're writing a lot so it's means of like getting all the material written and hopefully go into the studio again maybe early next year yeah early as possible, obviously. Early as possible. <laughs> so there we have it an exclusive here on the bbc music introducing in cambridge stage flint more new music on the way so hyped for that guys and i'm so excited to share this set that you put together for us so please welcome to the stage flint more Hello there, we're Flintmore. Well, sort of. There's three of us here at the moment. Noah, our drummer, is currently behind the scenes doing all the technical stuff. Oh, we're playing here at Big Weekend again, sort of. And the song we're going to play right now is a song of ours called Broken Pictures. I hope that you enjoy it.
So we're super pleased to be here, um, actually in two places. One, by playing Big Weekend, but also in our cameraman's garden. This is where we're at at the moment. These stairs, a little bit dodgy to walk up and down on uh, beforehand, to say the least. Uh, they crumble away quite a lot. So this next tune that we're going to play to you now is a song of ours called Gangrene. And uh, Gangrene was written about clinical depression and how scary it can be. And I'm just tuning up in time for that. Sounds like it's in tune, hang on. A little bit out there, hang on. All right, I think we're good. We good to rock? All right, sweet. No, we're not. So you're getting the proper live experience here. This is what it's actually like. All right, this song is called Gangrene. I hope you enjoy it. Show! 
Right then, this is our last song of this set here. And it is a tune called Kingdom. We want to take a moment as well just to uh, thank Ellen Ellard and BBC Introducing to allow us to have uh, this moment. And we hope that you have a wonderful rest of the stream. There we go. This song is called Kingdom.
Thank you all very much. We've been Flintmore.